A bag valve mask, otherwise known as a BVM, is a device used for resuscitation to provide ventilation for patients who are not breathing adequately or at all. Differences between the volume of air required between patients and inconsistent pumping rates between rescuers make proper operation of BVMs a difficult task, especially when required over long periods of time. This problem is even more significant when the technique is performed by undertrained personnel, such as in impoverished areas with restricted access to medical services. Therefore, there is a need for an auxiliary device that can be used with existing BVMs to reduce the amount of medical attention and expertise required to operate these devices. Hello, I'm Noah McAvoy, and I'm a primary care paramedic with the Leeds and Greville Paramedic Service. Paramedics always work in pairs, but oftentimes we find ourselves requiring additional resources, and we love having an extra set of hands with us while we work. And I know firsthand how difficult, time-consuming resuscitation efforts are. And personally, I've been on calls where resuscitation efforts have lasted two or three hours at a time. And I believe that paramedics and other emergency personnel would benefit greatly from a solution to this problem. The most important requirement is that the device is able to deliver consistent air pressure and volume at specified breath rates to the patient. As adults, children, and infants have different requirements, the device needs to be able to handle multiple changes in these settings. A proper seal needs to be maintained around the patient's airway to ensure no air escapes. The device needs to be simple to use to allow people with limited expertise to operate it. It should also be inexpensive to remain economically viable for developing countries. Finally, it should be compact and portable for emergency situations. The implications of this device are very important. In developed countries, it will act as an aid to rescuers in maintaining proper resuscitation technique, reducing the risk of complications from incorrect ventilation. It'll also offer medical specialists an opportunity to focus on other tasks to treat a patient. In developing countries, family members are often trained to operate BVMs due to a lack of resources. Our device will act as a cheap, compact ventilator that the average person will be able to use with relative ease. The timeline to develop the prototype can be seen from the Gantt chart. Varying design concepts have already been generated, with initial CAD drawings being scheduled for completion by the 20th of October. This will be followed by the generation of a parts list and the design of the circuitry, estimated to be completed by December 1st. The selected parts will then be tested and assembled in parallel with the development of control algorithms. This process is projected to be completed by the 12th of January 2020. These will then be combined to create a final prototype, which will be further tested and tuned for the design symposium during mid-March. This schedule is meant to be general and flexible to accommodate possible design changes and allow for ample testing. 